Hi, John Maxwell here. On July 4th, my father passed away. And what I'm going to do is uh, share with you a tribute to my dad. And it's the lessons that he taught me. He lived for 98 years and eight months. Another one, terrific lesson, was to, was to work hard. My father was a very hard worker. In fact, he worked full time until 95. And he loved work. So work wasn't work to him. And it just literally came right down through the family. And for my brother, my sister, and myself, we all love to work. And, and, and work isn't work. And, and we find our mission. We find our passion. And it's just uh, we can hardly wait to do it. So, so he, he was a, an incredible example of, of, of working hard, but, but he also, in, the, in that working hard teaching he did, he taught us to, to work smart. It's not only how hard you work, but it's how smart you work. And one of the things that he did that was just very helpful, uh, I think he, probably he, this helped me the most in the family because I was a fun-loving kid and not highly disciplined. I really just really wanted to do two things, play ball and, and, and be with my friends. And so my father would give me the chore list. And, um, and, and what he would do is he would give it to me at the beginning of the week and say, John, here are the you know, five things you need to do this week. And some of them I had to do every day, like take out the garbage. But, but then like I clean the basement or wash the car. I, I didn't have to do that every day, but I had to do it that week. And my father would say, now, you can choose when you want to do this. If you want to, you can, in fact, well, if you got the list, you can go down and clean the basement now. You can go out and wash the car now. Or you can do it tomorrow. Or, or you can do it the next day. He said, you get, to, you get to choose when you do that work. But he said, I just want you to know by Saturday at noon, it has to be done. And, and they'd say, you know, you know, Saturday afternoon, we're going to maybe go swimming. If you got your chores done, you can go swimming with us. But if your chore isn't done, you got to finish your chores. And and I can I can still remember the day on Saturday afternoon when the rest of the family pulled out in the car, and I I was at the front door watching them leave me because I hadn't cleaned the basement. And Dad said, "Well, you you didn't prioritize your time, so you clean the basement. We'll go swimming." It was my dad that taught me how to pay now, play later. Huge teaching in my life. In fact, he said, let me tell you something. If you pay now, you'll get a play later. But if you just play now, you'll severely pay later. And he talked to me about how doing the right thing compounds into something positive and gives you options at the end. But if you don't do the first things first, you lose your options. And then toward the end of life, the payment really gets compounding and quite severe and difficult. And so my dad just came alongside of me and, and, uh, Helped me to understand how to uh, how to put first things first, how to work hard, how to prioritize my work, and 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 uh, pay now, play later. And it was a, an incredible lesson for me that just literally, um, well, it's just literally revolutioned my life. And in, and to this day, to this day, I'm an early riser, and I wake up early, and uh, you know, five five thirty. I'm already getting my work done. In fact, my dad used just to say, John, it's just very simple. He said, if you rise early and you and you work and you prioritize your life well, he said, by the time everybody else is getting up, you're already, you're already ahead in the game. In fact, he said, uh, be a person that everybody around you has to play catch up. I love that. In other words, he said, get started first. He was the first person to teach me. It's not the fastest person that wins the race. It's the one who starts first. So, so work hard, work smart, get up early. It was just a, an incredible, incredible lesson that I packed away in my life and I learned for myself. And uh, it's just made a, it's made a huge difference, no doubt about it.